How's it going my dudes? Welcome back to another video. So if you want to one pun Orochi, it is not for the faint of heart. You will need a Malted in order to do enough DPS, at least in the current state of the game. However, if you do not wish to one pun, you just want to run pups and you just want to do a lot of damage, really quickly clear out three hits in one go. You can do without the Malted, you can work with the White Tails X. You should be able to do enough damage either way. If not, you can still help out a lot by doing a lot of damage with this specific setup. So I'm going to explain a little bit about how this setup works. I'm not going to go too much into detail about most of the units here because you should already know exactly what each of these units do. If you do not know yet, you can ask me down in the comment section. I will be happy to explain to you a little bit more about the units. Now there is one unit that I've touched on before and I've talked a little bit about him and recently I've been taking a little bit more interest in this one particular character and that is Connor. Let's take a look at Connor really quickly here. So his skill set is kind of interesting. He's easily missable because most of you guys don't even know you have him or don't even know what to do with him. He's probably sitting in the storage somewhere. Okay, so the good thing about Connor is that you don't even need him to be built at all. You just need his skill to be at level 1. You just need him to be at level 1 in fact and he will function exactly how you need him to be. So here's his skill, Falcon Rush. Charges forward with his spear inflicting wind damage on foes in that direction and grant pierce to all allies. The rest of his kit doesn't really matter so much, so you might be wondering, so what's so good about this character? Let's take a look at his skill. Now you'd be even more confused, what's the big deal of his skill? Okay, so quick difference between how he works versus how Rolf works. Now, these two characters seem to be doing the exact same thing, but they are not. Okay, so in particular, let me explain. Rolf is actually doing a ball flip. So what you'll see is that Rolf is actually kind of like flipping towards the target location, but that's the end of his animation. As soon as he flips, his animation ends. As opposed to Connor, when Connor uses his skill, the entire distance of his skill is part of the animation, which means that Connor will land in the particular location that you need him to be, Whereas Rolf, most of the time, he will not be able to end in between the boss, right? In middle of the boss. Most of the time, Rolf can end like just outside the boss where other units can use their skill within the appropriate proximity and then his skill will end over there. So we can only use Connor for this instance. We cannot use Rolf. But that's an absolute win for us because Connor is just a 3-star unit. So let's take a look at the team in action. So a couple of things that you might notice, we are replacing Annie with Elk. And that's because we are trying to push as much DPS as possible. Sometimes, for some reason, you know, you do a low roll and your Annie isn't enough to accommodate that DPS difference that you need and therefore Elk actually saves the day. I mainly use Annie on pub runs right now because that allows me to go full auto. Elk, on the other hand, needs to run on manual because you need to manually control him to use his skill at the start. If not, he's not going to use his skill at the start. And this is because of skill proximity requirements. Another thing that you might notice is that we are using two piercing units. Number one, we are using Viron, and number two, we are using Connor. So technically, we are overloading on piercing. We do not need piercing. However, there's a reason why I'm using Connor and Viron together. So as for Connor, the reason why I'm using Connor is because of his piercing effect, the skill piercing effect. And that's about it. As for Viron, I need him under Sushi because that forces Sushi to only use his skill when he's exactly next to the boss. And that's very important. If you want to be able to use Sushi's skill to cleave all the enemy hits, you will need Sushi to be next to the boss and not somewhere far away at the bottom of the screen. But of course, this only matters if you're running on auto, but if you're going to be running on manual like we are here, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. I'm just using Viron mostly because this team works very well on pub runs as well, and I'm only going to auto on pub runs. So for this pseudo manual one pun run, we are going to use our Owls first. All of us are going to use it so that we boost our skill damage and attack power a lot from the beginning, and we're going to take turns to nuke down the bosses. So the first guy is going to go ahead, take out three hits by simply pressing the auto button, and the second guy is going to go ahead, press the auto button. And the third player is going to go ahead, press the auto button. So the reason why pressing the auto button works instead of just manually using a skill is because the AI is smart enough to detect that, hey, Viron is too far away from the boss. Therefore, Connor should use his skill first. Connor will then pierce into Orochi itself. And that's when Sushi uses his skill. So it's a little bit complicated and I honestly wouldn't suggest this to anyone. But this is still a very, very fast run. This is probably the fastest run that I've ever done in my life. And I think it's pretty cool to see as well, right? It's pretty cool to cover this team. I love how there are so many underdog units in this game that just secretly are good at something that no one else knows about. And that's where I come in to share this with you guys. Okay, we were slightly delayed at the last part of the fight but we still managed to do 37 seconds. Absolute win. I mean, we can totally chop down another 5 seconds from this. It is slightly over 30 seconds, which is super fast. 
So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more Wolf Flipper content. This has been free to play by the way. And as always, I will see you in the next video.